Greetings on the air TV listeners, YouTube subscribers, Facebook friends. Cosmic Two here on March seventeenth, two thousand fifteen. And this is for the so called craze that be believing that thing. Surely we're pressing on many stories and poems since for the past like 70 years I guess or so starting with the Roswell incident was on a spaceship supposedly crashed there and you know, covered bodies and there was a big autopsy for the that showed one but it was fabricated it's come to find that so this a lot of people they don't believe, believe in UFOs or such but if you get any kind of missing time experiences and um really have somebody that, that was with you on the time that you saw or experienced your incident or abduction possible well then the soul could becomes um too real in my opinion of my experience and what happened to me first of all I would like to thank people on on the air TV for supporting me and listening um, followers of on the air TV listening to me and my podcast um that means a lot to me to see that Europe Australia China Japan and North America and South America now are I'm listening to my theories and life and I recently put what's called the secret origins of cosmic 2 on my journal on on the air TV uh, please check that out all true um, believe it or not usual I'm drinking my cream tea. I don't live on cream tea. And I grew it to get a chemicals out of the water. I find wagger waving it through it by wagger waves. And really loving this. And I lost like 25 pounds. So 295 now, I was 320 before. Anyway, this is for those set of particulars out there who you are um, in force with them. Now, certain UFO and SEAL pals over the past year suggest that Dwight D. Eisenhower sent a sign of plaque with the Sega Sega Particulars to experiment on everyone. That was like in 1949. Now, what we are all subject to since then is experimentation on us. And especially our kids, which I don't like at all. 
I don't like that fact to say this, whatever, that I was abducted, experimented on, then in third grade, as per my journal, on newest journal, I said it was like a men of black experience. I'm not third grade class, and it is something that I cannot explain, I cannot put it down to why my purpose, really, and it's all. When I was programmed to be a sleeper, um, you know, I think about that sometimes. I love it. So, something triggers something in me, and I do things that I, I work for to do. Even at 51 years old, that you know, maybe my shirt was set to where I was no longer needed for the purposes that the were work from me into doing that I um I know of all I cannot no nothing can influence me like that now because of my training in new thinking and cosmic minded agendas. This is all good new body destroying tendencies. And see, I get uh, rhyme one the way I did years ago. I find people who brawl me and do cruel things to me, and the fact that I got cancer season on YouTube that will that take me down on YouTube. And, Caused me to relinquish my channel, but that's not gonna happen this time. It's just like my hate channel, the Cosmic Truth Network, it started out to be Cosmic Truth Triumphant. And until I am truly triumphant, uh, it's going to be remain the cosmic truth not perk on YouTube, and I'll change the title back to Cosmic Truth Trump and see this. What I hope happens to be happens. You know, the cosmic truth shabu is prominent, and me and my um. People I look at deeply into their eyes. I try to not to look at anybody in their eyes too much because I see glimpses of their genetic past, racial memories and all. And no of all that people cannot help being evil and mean sometimes because it's uh, in their genetic genetic memories and all animals got genetic memories that help them you know along the way and even also so when I my search my genetic memories were reactivated and started over again because of the length I sat my brain souls crying from the new side because new oxygen to my brain was happening for over an hour was made me like this so sad in particular I'm not sure whether or not you aggravated my stroke um or what? And I know full of all to the, the government 
allowing you to experiment on us, what kind of creations you could have did and formed throughout years, the years, possibly on the kind of hybrid on frictic, frictological pines, like the Bigfoot sort of sea monsters or super coppers or lizard men or whatever this you see on the monster pals or whatever shoes you get I mean this experience in this century 2015 is almost unreal and really digital in nature we all had to go to digital and all of us even the television says a uh, digital converter so you can see this and that and there are cell phone towers loom and who knows what kinds of radio waves or frequencies are are uh, out there causing aircraft to be invisible in nature and now the um north of the Kremlin to to uh, um getting their magazine stall as technologies to make aircraft invisible and probably cut for the same in particular but they had enough over their technologies to us for us being a spinnerman or not my pack is full of sores or psoriasis I cannot see I want to take a photo of my back or show it to everyone and um, more mainly so I can see for myself how bad it is because I cannot see it I can do a double mirrored whatever um, thing to see what uh, what it looks like but it's tore up my back is just my uprightness doing I got knees the one knee looks like alien skin to me it don't look like even skin anymore to the chemicals whatever the creams I I'm not using but that then it turns all white and cracks and this is really badly so it's almost like I can moisturize myself in these places on um, knees, elbows, chest and back and all um arms too you know back of my arms it's really painful in nature but you forget to moisturize was I had to do on tower to a day so being a spinner man and on uh, take and using ultra meditation was I at the five disc and crowd she rated from one to the other until uh, my um psychic whatever was in tune to the to the last one was I can do on eat any one of them uh, thirty minute experiences or meditations then I made the mistake of tapping into the cosmic forces raised in the universe to try to change my soul 
and that's what when the surprise is really happened to me. Pretty. Uh, a little toss up at first, but it's like escalating. And I, I would all over my body sooner or later. Oh, we used to be on my legs a lot. Or you know, my, um, I it all over my body one time or the other. But now, it's really bad. And for that moisturizers, and I take a medication for it. Now, there are certain particulars. Reptilian in nature, or is there two? Or they say there are uh, other races on this planet. And, uh, you know, you close to mind that movies are made of black movies where they showed other races and whatever. But, um, no pool ball that I have experienced by my terrorist in 2013, the end of 2013, where he didn't want me to get medications for my tools for my surprises because he claimed being that was a trick victim uh, would uh, cause me another trick, was was a lie, ended up being a lie. And, um, you look at my knee with the main spin and all, really examine it because it's not, don't, don't look like even skin at all under there, you know, on my knee, especially. So, I was like that on my chest, too. The spots, you know, moisturize it. There's no, it's nothing I cannot cure what I am. It's all genetic experimentation. And I um, woke up at times during my life with missing skin. It was a one night I woke up and my skin was missing from my. Um, chin. It was a round circular patch, got a deep where it was scooped at. Yeah, you know, big things. I woke up in pain before, like my leg was, you know, was cramped up, and well, a couple of times I, um, Work up and I look at my leg, it was trying to do go sideways or to conform to another. It was weird, like it was warping my leg. It was painful, so painful. I could just endure a lot of pain stabs, you know, store being cut, whatever, truck. You know, I've been through a lot of pain, but no pain like when I warp or whatever I'm turning into. And it's scary. It's really, really scary and true. True. So, I um, am... Looking at my own mortality, and when I was turned into, or what is gonna go from here? Because I already have clues from doctors, at, especially in the University Hospital, that. I don't thought I was gonna, you know, die or whatever, <coughs> you know, one time. And, um, they informed me that 
I'm going to live a long, long night. And smiling. Uh, he's one time sure said, it was not drugs that turned, um, cause you have a shirk. I said, what was it then? And he smiled, but didn't answer me. So I got a lot of puzzle pieces of my life down, put it together to form what I believe to be true, even though I'm not sure because of what happened to me in third grade. Because really, I don't remember it. I don't remember um, what it was programmed into me. I do remember being put underneath what was supposed to be a camera and caused me to um, increase my destiny and caused me to control it at times. It was this weird? And I don't think of it as a superpower. I think of it as something all of us can do, or have done, especially young adults. You, um, there's their parents for experiment, and also their, um, their genetic make makeup is more advanced than their parents is. And all, you know, it has to do with our portes, our kidneys on, what did we eat, where we go, um, what we were taught, and so on and so forth. And for the government that allowed us to be experimenting on for technologies. It's not freedom. It was just suddenly was thrust upon us. And as society's so called advanced, they go back to primal instincts now. And that's good is in the world that a lot of evil now it's a lot of evil now conformed by the media was fed into us um taught to us in schools now a lot of untruths and fabrications of history don't come to be true that you know our um another generation that's gonna be as mean as molasses or whatever you know really <laughs> goes to show that with it with these generations comes not caring or really no emotion, emotionless people that are mean in nature and don't want to promote any kind of value creation or protection in the world. And I don't think it's all cause us as a two with where we are born, raised, or what type of positive influences are on us. And the thing is, this genetic particular DNA problem and us being a spender man or none by doctors or even taking aside a spare man or none cases where 
children's revived from women's wounds and you know all kinds of things I study and experience and a free from fly premium TV that guy he um looks up at the alien demons now was I created to be for the set of meticulins or involved and do one of them who knows I don't know what what it's from my skin to I think it's got a, not to do with my teeth really and a lot of people say they had relatives out of the same condition I had to. So, to me, it says a lot of the way of experimentation throughout the years or centuries that, you know, just because the government allows the crazy to the, do their thing and experiment on us, um, doesn't mean they haven't done that for centuries beyond the governments of the world's back. And then I'll talk about alien races and bananas and things that we were praised to be. Um, slaves to the Nadian people and technology. So, that's, um, Mughal Dissyrians thing and other scholars that focused on that. So, the Sailor particularly, um, I don't think it's of it as a problem. I think of it as something that's been around for eons. Might be our creators. You know? Who knows? Or they might be in league with the crime force or guide or whatever. And one time had a friend is homeless. He has a room, but he don't go to it too much. But he, um, he's a drunk and lush, and one time I was sitting in the park up the near the school where I used to go. He told me about the experience about the crap and the experience as a kid and he said so you had a spruce first rule experience it was as felt like at the time too and so I, I said you know come to think of it it might not have been a spiritual experience so to speak, because he was uh, um, to have his business and his family is so I'm not sure what they believe in the way of that I got a couple of pamphlets that I was given a couple of times by people knock at the door trying to talk Jesus with you and God alone but my mother used to let all of them men all the time I talk about it which you know open the door when uh, waking up from a nap or whatever uh, and people in suits and all and, in my living room, she used to get let all of them in. I don't let anybody in 
like that because people for the government people who push that other people into um, in order to get into your house the scoop in that for robberies or people who pretend to be in like they're surveying things or census or people who pretend to be energy companies seeking your um you know to become their your proprietor energy proprietor all of them you know you can fabricate all of that badges on um, uniforms and all kinds of stuff in order to scoop other people out to rob them and you can see it all the time on the news and, and some media warns people about people like this so Back to the city in particular thing. I know I'll go off of an auto rival, but it all ties together. This all ties together with experiences we yet add to the two daily activities without being influenced by external forces. And to me my strict wasn't a making of my genetic memories as well as helped me get away from the heroin abuse that was suffering back then and the keeping a spread drug was could have caused my surprises too was cured me of anything and the even need methadone like other people do. So I am um, I'm blessed, so to speak, in the ways of historical forces really helping me out and I don't know why, really. I was able to <laughs> take care of myself you know, pretty much, even though I still need help to even, you know, with things and I won't drive anymore because keep that up simply because I know beliefs will think I'm drunk. I talk like I am. Believe me, I am not drunk. I don't drink, I cannot drink. Because I can I take medication that prevents a bad drink on my little drink state I will die of liver poisoning. Because that's what uh I'm forbidden, forbidden to drink any alcohol. Believe me, it was hard on last Christmas to not be able to drink an hot toddy or get some that type of uh, alcohol like um, barely sized average cream to put on in coffee and all, but I don't really need that stuff anyway. But my friend lived here, I used to drink a couple beers, but I, that stopped. When I checked my blood pressure, it was sky high. And I figured out my medication I was taking, um, I put drink on it, and cancel to that. So I get a higher blood pressure, and that's how people have tricks on you know these medications so I'm really careful careful 
That's for external forces. I thank you for, um, you know, be careful what you wish for. But really, I gotta put that out there. Because when I was working for furniture insulation firms and all, it was difficult. It was hard for me. A fire must be out of work in. Bitter cold, the stream night weather, um, sometimes pulling things in their non aired, you know, um, open trucks. So we had to pull things, we put like wheels and Cast casters and chairs. I delivered hundreds of chairs for these firms and government places or schools at the end of my um, working preparation for schools, uh, uh, adjusting desks on schools, you know, getting desk work different grades, you know, building their tables and desks and modular furniture and cubicles. I did it all. I'm uh, proud of it. But, um, I wished that I would get away with that or become, you know, as soon as I knew that I reached to the top of my, because of paying for Sister Security for 25 years and enter another bracket, you know, I paid it since I was 16 years old. So 25 years went by and I am on the shirk. Gave me the top on, you know, of the level that it achieved me to be able to afford things. Uh, basically, made the same my mind now as I did when I was working. So that really helps me out. And, um, I don't know if I'm to send in particular people, whatever, or be a part of my future, or be being a part of my past. But I feel that there's another force coming. A force that could, was to say that it's going to be evil. Signing for the government against the good force that's coming. That's what I feel. The world being programmed to fight this good force, which is going to overwhelm them. Some call it a rapture, you know. The Bible talks about it a lot. Who knows? I knew of all that I've been shunned up in deep valued and I don't think nothing out of it huh my emotions reach a point where I reach despair and openness of people really liking me or being my true friend of because of my DNA was put into me, it could evolve a negative force like the uh, aliens freeze people or make them paranoid with their adoptions to me because I um, put the DNA from them to try to make me more like them or a lot of people in the world 
I'm going to give out the negative vibe to people. You want to stay away from me. It really hurts. You know, I'm not being loved. Truly loved. Or I said to wrap somebody that understands me. So, I thank you all on, on the air TV. Um, some of you two that still listen to my podcast, um, through from Spreaker. And, but I have been from YouTube to on the air TV, which I just genuinely appreciate the people who take the time to listen to me. I know what I'm talking about. I really do. Cosmic truth is permanent. I think sooner or later people are going to be cosmic mining like me like, like me too for everybody there my own port Maryland I'm around the USA Canada um South America Europe Asia, China, Japan, Australia, yeah, Netherlands, peace, love the everyone, I truly mean that, until I don't get most of it back anymore from people, but I accept that. Simply because I'm not supposed to be here in this reality. I'm almost supposed to die. And like the thing mm-hmm. is, you gotta realize everything we are experiencing now. We've been through a million or a billion times. It's all cert in a circular motion. And the time to the beginning of the time. And for the end, is, it begins again. And the constant loop, loop, universal cosmic loop. So that's what Chi Cha Fu is all about. The cosmic Chi Cha Fu is supported by, by genetic memories and living. I did this in the past and I changed drastically this time what happens to me and who knows what it's going to lead to and um hopefully I can touch base with those people who want to support me and want me to support them because I'll see no part of support on YouTube anymore. Um, very few people do. So, peace, love, God bless, take care, I'm the news. I'll see you next time. This week I'm uh, going to be doing a speaker broadcast of some movie and TV reviews. So that's what I'm going to do this weekend. Take care. Goodbye.